There are flutes and there are whistles. Whistles generally don't have more than one sound hole. So a whistle would be something like this that would just have a chamber, it would have a blowhole or a nib <clears throat> where, where you put your lips to blow on it, and then it would have a sound hole. A flute will have more than one hole in it, and these are fingering holes right here, and then that's where the air goes in. So that's the difference, the main difference. So even though this one looks like a flute, it is a whistle because this has an air hole to blow into, but <clears throat> it only has one sound hole. And on this one, you have to hold your hand on the end of it to make it uh, sound. So uh, it's similar to this pan flute. In fact, you could probably attach it to a, fan, a pan flute uh, or a pan whistle. This is a series of whistles that are exactly like this, except that the, the hole is plugged up. As you can see, there, these holes are, there's no hole. The only hole is the sound hole and the air hole on this. So these are separate and they're made separate. I just put them together with uh, rubber bands so that I could demonstrate uh, how this works. You put your mouth over as many of those as you can. I can only get mine over about two at a time. But it sounds like this. And I'm gonna get real close because, let's see if I can get that closer because I want you to be able to see how it's put together. There's the little ramp. Here's the little, this is kind of a hollowed out spot. Here's the ramp. There is the edge right there, the edge that's the splitter. This, if you can see, Let's see if I can get that. Right there is the is where the air the air that you blow comes through here. So there's a little platform sometimes that happens right below that, which is fine. The air goes right in there. I'm gonna show you another one here. This one. You can see how it, it's shaped and how, see where that reflection is. That's where it's kind of hollowed out. And then you've got that hole. There, see that dark spot? That's where the hole goes down into the chamber and that little light blue place is where there's a little platform that supports the air and guides it over to that splitter. And I have a piece of aluminum here that I've cut to be able to put into this to show you. This area right around here is the hollowed out part. Let me take this to point with. This is the ramp. And this edge right here is the splitter, the air splitting edge. The air comes out right over here. Let's see if I can poke this through there to show you. The air goes in right here and it goes straight to that edge. And some of the air goes down and some of the air will be forced to come up out of there. If you look straight down that hole, you should be looking at the edge, the edge of this little hole right here. This little edge needs to be sharp and clean. The channel, my camera keeps going dark. The channel where the air goes through right here, 
that should be free of debris when you're all finished. That should be cleaned out to get a real clear, clear as a bell sound. You've got the little hollowed out part. This is where the the air goes through and it goes right to that splitter. The splitter is over here on the left side. So that air goes through there. Now, some of you probably are saying, well, what's that? You can see, you can see um, like a little ledge that's right there below that. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Kind of light blue right there. That is the bottom of this where you sort of mashed. See, there's the profile on that. You sort of mashed some of the, let me turn it around this way. mashed some of this clay up this way in order to guide the air through there to hit the splitter. So let me do that again. That just goes right in there and hits the splitter. Okay, let's show you one more. Here, this one hasn't been fired yet. This is just a, a classroom sample, like a little example that I made and just like a few minutes. There's the air hole. This was done with the popsicle stick probably. The air goes in here. And it goes right to that splitter. Right to that sharp edge. Let me turn this over. Maybe you can see that better. See, that's a toothpick that I've stuck in there. See, the, the air hole goes right to there. So that's one way that you can tell that you've got it right. This is a... Um, in the shape of a bird and I'm copying this from something that I've seen somewhere in my life. I don't remember what. Um, but this is the whistle part right here. So this part of this thing is pretty much like one of these uh, parts of a pan whistle except that it goes into an empty chamber and then it goes up and there's a place right there for the for some air to come through there happens to be water inside here and the sound hole is right here so this is what this sounds like uh, this has fingering holes on the top and bottom this is a plastic one that i bought at, at the music store um, air hole right here. It looks kind of like a carrot or a sweet potato. This is one that's kind of like that. It looks more like an egg. This one, it's only got three or four holes. So experiment around with that and you can, you can try that. I had one student that made a, a genuine ocarina that sounded good and everything and no, he did not leave it with me. <laughs> that was okay, though. I wanted them to take it home. And you can buy things like this was purchased. I believe this came from that museum. It's made out of some kind of natural material. It looks like it might be bamboo. But it's hollow, and it's been carved, and it's got fingering holes and so forth. And no, I can't play the flute. My son can, but I cannot. Uh, but you know you can fash you can have things like this sitting around if you're teaching this uh, so that the kids can look at it and see you know see what it's supposed to look like or see what they can copy something because sometimes kids need a little nudge with the ideas 
So that's, a, oh, let's see, this one. I hang up, almost forgot these that are hanging up here. Um, there's a little snail, snail-shaped uh, whistle. That one's, and it's on a string. This one has a little ball on the inside. I think if you blew it really hard, you'd get some of that rattle from the from the little ball. And you can also buy little water whistles like this at, at the dime store or wherever. This uh, I would have these things in my classroom to show show the kids. This is how it works. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.